Okay, just a little supplemental add-on to uh, what I mentioned before. I mentioned about the gear positions as far as the F, G, H, and J positions. Those correspond to gear stack ups. All right, so at the top here, this is straight from the um, Harrison uh, manual for this one, and it's available on Yahoo Groups, on the Harrison Lathe Group. It's an excellent resource. If you don't have one, it's a free download, so highly recommend if you have one of these lazy, go get that. All right, so uh, the metrics on the top, and mine specifically here at the bottom, um, you'll notice that under each one, there's a gear stack up. These are the gears that you're going to change, which corresponds to the F position. And from the F position, from a prior look at the uh, lathe, the F position corresponds with the front plate. And in F, there's a bunch of the different positions that you change with the individual uh, feed control to actually correspond to the specific speed that you're at. So with every one of these gear changes, every one of those speed, those feeds are going to change. So you have to know which one you're in and go from there. All right, so getting into this even more, oh my gosh, look at all the notes. Uh, there's a lot to pay attention to. So if you're looking at uh, the book and it's not making heads or tails, I'll go into this in a lot more detail. You see I've done a lot of calculation up here as far as the actual gears that I'm going to need to make. Um, it's not a hard thing to do, but uh, you need to understand what you're doing and need a few pieces of equipment. I've accumulated those over the last little bit. Um, I guess that's really what I wanted to cover out of this book. I mean, there's a lot of great information in here. I actually corresponded and, and uh, took pictures of mine specifically you'll notice that these are the same washed out picture quality from the coolant that where it attacks the uh, actual faceplate. And here I've uh, taken the photo and actually punctuated it up a little bit um, for my machine so I would know which way it is. It doesn't get lost to the uh, sands of time. So um, going back into this one again, this is the uh, Harrison M250. There's the manual. Uh, recommend you go out to the Yahoo groups become a member it's very easy There's a fantastic group of folks out there that will help you out in, in tons of different ways um, for those that are men Herbie mentioned it right down here is the uh, 5 3 center push that I need to make not hard but I just need to get to it and get it done but uh, on the rest of it there's the specifications for the actual lathe all right uh, a couple of things that you might uh, be interested in, it's uh, the spindle is set up for an inch and a quarter feed through and uh, it's actually not a, not too bad really for this size. Alright and from there we're going to wrap this one up. We're going to do this as a separate add-on to talk about that but I uh, said I would so here I am doing it and again once you get to this page we'll cover this and another one in a little bit more in depth on the lathe i want to go ahead and set up the dial indicator so you can actually see uh, what's cooking uh, which speed and so forth all right that's a wrap thanks for watching and uh, if you like subscribe um, if you just hit like hit like if you don't like it please tell me please comment if i'm saying something incorrect um, even if uh you know, even if it hurts. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good evening.